my lovelies I am joined with a cat apparently who was not here two seconds ago um I'm gonna share with you what we got for Christmas disclaimer half the stuff's already been put away and I, I ain't getting it back out but I thought I'd share with you some of the stuff we got for Christmas um we made kind of a deal with everyone that we weren't gonna go crazy this year we didn't want to spend a lot of money me and Ben had a budget between us me and my family um, basically discuss what we were actually buying each other before and I set a three present rule for everyone else other than Ben and Sam um, so I wasn't gonna buy more than three presents for each person because usually I buy junk that is just useless and ends up either sitting on someone's side or in the bin to be quite honest so this year I am so happy with all my presents I'll show you a few of mine a few of Ben's a few of Sam's and just a little bit of what we got really I thought I'd share it with you so I'm gonna start with my main present which was the only kind of expensive present some people won't think it's expensive I do I got two Pandora charms from Ben which are beautiful I will take a picture and pop them on the screen because I know that I can't focus they're already on my bracelet so I don't really want to try and show you I'll take a picture so we've got a Eeyore one because I love Eeyore I've always always loved Eeyore and Ben knows that obviously <laughs> um I used to collect Eeyores I had so many and then the Mickey and Minnie basically represents our year we've had a really tough car year which sounds really weird um but Ben was in his accident and the car got roped off we then didn't have his car he didn't have a car for a while we had to go car shopping which was just hell and something that I really don't want to go through again for a very long time because I hated trying to find a car um and then obviously a few weeks ago I don't think the vlog will be up by the time this goes up but we um our tire actually blew on the motorway and we were stranded on the side of the motorway for hours with Sam who was crying and honestly it was it was a terrible experience so I was like okay he was explaining all this and I was like okay so you got me a charm to remind me of terrible experiences and he was like well no because it's Mickey and Minnie because we love Disney and you'll never forget which year it was um so yeah <laughs> so there is a bit of background I was literally like why have you spent money on Pandora charms I think I think they're so beautiful but I also think like 50 pounds for one little bit of metal is ridiculous um so he did get a stone word <laughs> but but i love them they're on my charm bracelet with my little flamingo that i got on a necklace for valentine's 2016. anyway i feel like i spoke about that for way too long i will not go through presents like that so i'm just gonna dig in and figure it out i got this from my sister that says busy blogging it was just cute basically my sister and my mom both got us kind of experiences but also wanted to get us a little something to unwrap so she bought that for me that says busy blogging um my mom also got sam this five minute kitten tales book which is really cute and she also got sam this he actually already has the monkey of this one so i might keep this one uh downstairs and have the monkey upstairs or the other way around or something but it's a star projector um pretty sure these were from b and m i think ours was about four pounds so it should be about the same i'll tell you where things are from when i can it's a little projector sam absolutely loves projectors so he will be very happy with that my mom also got me these uh cupcake bath fizzers i believe these from tesco i think she said um i haven't tried them yet but i will definitely let you know how they are but like i said our main presents from them were experiences so i have some pieces of paper that i'm just going to show you now so from my sister bought us a family pass to chester zoo so the three of us can go on a day out to chester zoo which is so so lovely my mum bought us uh tickets to the monkey forest for again the three of us and then she also bought us tickets to drayton manor which has thomas land and um, i don't really like rides so we weren't gonna do like a theme park but we really wanted to go to thomas land with sam so me and sam will probably end up in thomas land and ben can go on all the rides <laughs> we're really really grateful that we can kind of make memories because there was nothing we needed everyone kept asking what we wanted and we were like nothing we don't need anything so they were such thoughtful presents i don't know why i keep clapping next is just everything else i'm just gonna go through it real quick so i got 
this mug, which I love. I don't know why I love this mug so much. It says it's from Paws. I believe it's from Kim and Miller. That's the one. I love it. It's like the perfect size. I do like big mugs, but my machine only gives out a bit, like a certain amount of water anyway. So this is perfect for my machine. And um, it also came with a pack of coffee that I've not actually tried yet. A little chocolate shaker. Um, so yeah, this came in a set which I absolutely love. I've used this multiple times already. I got these mugs, which, oh my God, I love these as well. Uh, my friends know me so well. I am obsessed with mugs. These mugs are from Clinton's and they look like this. I'm not gonna get them out, but they are really big. They are like the perfect soup mugs, which I needed. Um, and also coffee, if I'm having super milky coffee and I put it in the microwave. But this one says, good morning, gorgeous, I believe. Yeah, good morning, gorgeous and hello, handsome. They're his and hers mugs. So they were a drink present to me and Ben. Oh my God, these like bits of 3D as well. I just love them. I love them. I got these PJs from Primark. They still have the price on because my father-in-law didn't take them off, bless him. Um, but funny story behind these. Um, my friend posted a picture of her in these PJs um, on Christmas morning, I think it was. And I messaged her and I was like, oh my God, love these PJs. Where are they from? I need them. And she was like, Primark, I'm like fab. I'm gonna go shopping and I'm gonna find these because I love them. I wanted some new fluffy PJs anyway. He did know that. Um, so I was expecting fluffy PJs from him anyway, but I was like, I need these stitch ones. I need them in my life. Well, he bought them for me. I literally showed a picture to Ben as well. And I was like, I need these. And he was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because he went shopping when he bought these. But apparently they were 14 pounds. They are from Primark. They come with some socks as well. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but this is what they look like. I just think they're so cute. I'm so excited. I, I've literally kept these in the box to show you guys. So these are going on pretty much when I finish filming this. Got these, well I didn't, Ben got these. Um, this is a chili sauce collection. He loves hot sauce. And one of our friends bought him this, which, oh my God, he loved. Really, really loved. Um, so yeah, I think that's from Kim and Miller as well. Then to kind of go with these, um, I bought him these from Nando's, uh, a peri peri salt and a peri peri salt shaker. And then these, which is the hot and the XX hot from Nando's as well. And then two little pots. We always have to have a separate plate for sauce. If we're having like a junk, not even like a junk food, like potatoey things or chicken or anything that we need sauce with basically, we tend to share a big plate. because our big plates are massive, but the small plates are too small for a meal. So we tend to share a big plate and then we have to have like extra plates for our sauces. Well, we now have one of these each. I'm well excited to use these. This is kind of a present for me for these and then Ben for these. But yeah, so I bought him them. Obviously we both work at CEX and CEX sent us some of these. They've sent us one each. They're the big ones, like literally bigger than my head. So very excited. I'm, I say very excited. I've got the other pack here open half eaten but thank you i got this from my friend it is a bottle of the echo falls white zinfandel and a few of <laughs> lindor chocolates and a wine glass just in like a little gift set which is so cute he and ben got one of these each from his dad i don't actually like ferrero so ben is gonna have these because he loves them sam got a thomas gift set i'm pretty sure there was something else in this but he's opened the box so i i don't know i I don't know it could be anywhere so it's a bath and body wash with thomas on and then a jigsaw for the bath again with thomas on they were from ben's dad as well i got this and oh, i nearly cried when i opened this not gonna lie um these are from my friend who also bought the mugs um and it's the thomas kincaid i think that's how you say his name 2019 calendar if you know who this is you will know why i was so excited he makes the most beautiful disney prints and oh my goodness i don't know if you're going to be able to see just how beautiful they are i'm pretty sure brogan tate had this last year is it last year i don't remember but maybe she has a print i'm sure it was brogan that i heard about him from um and i kept looking at them and i was like nope not spending that kind of money on a calendar for myself um i'm just not gonna do it i I'm, i refuse to spend money on myself a lot of the time so i wasn't gonna waste money 
I'm so happy she bought this for me. <laughs> Literally I opened it, I was like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. So yeah, very, very beautiful calendar. This one is for Ben from um, one of our friends. Oh my goodness, I thought Ben was actually going to cry when he opened this. It's the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Archive Volume 1. So this is like a massive book of all like the comics of, of the Volume 1s. I don't really know. But he got a comic from the same friend last Christmas, I think it was. And he was obsessed. And he has bought a few more comics since, I think. Or he's been reading them online or something. Um, but this is all of them. So he's very excited for that. I also bought Ben tickets to the Liverpool Comic Con because there is loads of people from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers which is like our generation of Power Rangers basically so this is what Ben grew up with he's still obsessed this cabinet next to me um, is full of Power Rangers stuff we've got two like life-size helmets I don't know what you will have actually seen on here I feel like I've never really shown any of that um, but he has like all the expensive collectibles and everything so we're gonna go meet some of the cast. Um, that was one of his Christmas presents. And I think he wants to take this so we can get it signed by as many people as possible. We got this from our boss um, and a shirt, which I think I've already put in his wardrobe, but it was green and cute. But this, he's worn this every day since Christmas. He's worn this for like three days straight. I absolutely love it. It's a onesie, but it's got no feet. And I talk about this all the time, but he hates anything like the, footed ones um shoes he's fine with but anything with like feet attached in it he freaks out and pulls at them and just hates it so this is perfect i love putting him in things like these this for like the car and like if we're just popping out and he doesn't quite need a coat but he needs to still be wrapped up i find these are just so nice and snuggly and it can still fit a jumper underneath which i really like i find that a lot of onesies and stuff you can't fit jumpers on so it's kind of pointless because you might as well just be wearing a jumper so yeah and also the inside of the hood is super fluffy oh my goodness i'm in love i think this is from next yeah next a boring one but i bought some um blades for ben's razor he has the one blade by phillips we bought this a few christmases ago and we also bought one for his dad for last christmas i think it was because he loved it so much so yeah he needed new blades so i was like eh, christmas and i think this is the end we got two selection boxes i was saying to ben i was like we've not had any chocolate for christmas we've not had any chocolate and the only thing we've got was the lindor from work um but no one else had bought us chocolate which is weird um my friend actually bought me honeycomb oh my goodness didn't realize how much i loved honeycomb i i don't even know where i put the pack but it was one of my favourite things ever. I am now obsessed. But Ben's dad bought us the Ferrero Rochers and then a selection box each. So we've got two of these. Like I said, half the presents have already been put away uh, because we've tried not to do the thing that I always do and leave them out so I can film a video and then it ends up being a week later. We're still surrounded by boxes of presents. And then by that point, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered to put them away. So we've tried to keep on top of it. I did want to keep a few things out to show you. But that is most of the stuff we got for Christmas. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know down below what your favourite present was that you got for Christmas. I would love present ideas for other people. I hope you enjoyed this video and you had a lovely Christmas. And I shall see you all soon. Bye. Hey Pooh Bear, you coming to say bye?